Greetings of the day everyone. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to forward data from searched to indexer. So the way this works is for us to complete the first step, which is my previous video, which is how to set up indexer as a search pair in searched. So once that is done, the searched will know that there is a search pair which we can use to forward the data. So if you haven't done that step, this is a necessary step for us to forward the data. So just please look back to that video and come back here. So the stuff that I'm going to do is like I'm going to edit a file and create a new file and change some configurations so that I'm able to forward the data from searcher to indexer. So that file will be available in the GitHub. I will leave the link in the description of this video. All the steps that I'm going to follow, all the code that will be typing will be available in my Git. Please check the description of this video. So let's get on about how to forward data from searcher to indexer. So those who have directly came to this video, which is our data from search it to indexer, you might not have added this indexer as a search peer. So if you want to know how to do, do, do that, go to my previous video and just check it out and then come back. I highly recommend you do that because this must be done for us to send the data from search it to indexer. So once you have done with that, you have set up your indexer as a search peer. So now we are supposed to go to the back end of our search it and supposed to go to opt splunk etc system local and then you're supposed to create a new file which is outputs dot conf and then you're supposed to paste this code which i will leave this repos link in the description of this video so you don't have to worry about that. So we'll go back to yeah, and then paste it. And then for this, everything looks good for this server. So we want the indexer IP. So go copy this indexer IP. Then just gonna go paste it and come back. Then give the receiving port which is 997 which we already done that in the previous video just going to save it just keep save just going to see how it looks yes outputs.com looks good cd dot dot go back go back to splunk bin then give it splunk restart so this may take a couple of minutes. So let's just get back. Yeah, stopping. Yeah, everything looks good. Yes, yes, yes. Save some data. Okay. Yeah. Now it's available. So go back. Search for. Yeah. I'm still refreshing. Let me go in. So once this. We started, so we have the data. We'll go to indexer. We'll go to search and reporting. So we are basically forwarding some data from search head to indexer. So we're gonna go just check it. It's gonna go to index internal and then just search it. So upon searching, we have these many events. So, but that is not what we want. So if you can see in this events, there's a play, there's a field which says host is equal to search head. So what that means is that there's two instances. So this is the host name. So basically the search head is forwarded the data to the indexer. So if you can see, I'll just click on host. So there are two types of values for this field. The host means that this indexer events or the events that were generated in this instance, in this indexer instance. So the search head, if you click it, so these, okay, so these 11,455 events were the data which were sent from the searcher. As you can see, we all have the host name searcher. So all this data were sent from searcher to indexer. So this is how you send data from searcher to indexer. So the next video that will be adding and I'll be adding it as an end element in this video will be how to send data from universal forwarded to indexer so catch you in that one guys
Bye bye everyone.